Hello, my name is Gurp, and uh, I am here today to play. Uh, ignore this. I am here today to play Universe Sandbox Two. Now, as many of you probably know, this is what the universe looks like. Or is it? This is the uh, common belief of what people think the universe looks like. But I personally believe that this is a conspiracy, and that the universe it uh, looks a lot different than this. So uh, let's just open a new simulation. Wait, hold on. Checking something. Checking something. Checking something. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. Okay, we're gonna open a new simulation. All right. Our star, yeah, still this. Is, oh, that's pretty bright. It's still a sun, but it's not just the sun. It's multiple suns. Now let's see if I can't simulate this. Let's see, just speed up the time. And our suns are traveling at a orbit. Let me, let me. Just, ooh. Let's see if I can't find uh, an existing simulation of binary stars. I mean, there's gotta be one, right? Because that is the true... Uh, that's part of our true solar system. This is chaotic orbit, but uh, I, I want... This is a realistic orbit I'm looking for. Let's, let's see. There's all these grids counters other tests man isn't this great this is going to be difficult all right let's just start a new simulation I have an idea so we'll pause right now I'm gonna make a star right here this one will be orbiting that star but surprise this star will be wait can I set its parent star orbital parent doesn't have one let me just, let me just delete this quick delete this object and then I'll add another star Uh, since this star is already orbiting around this area, then I will assume that both of these stars will orbit around each other. Uh, I don't know if this is a very stable orbit. Let's just uh, let's just let's just observe. You see, this is a completely stable orbit. All right, now let's add a couple of planets. So the first planet is okay. It's kind of like Mercury. It's a. It's pretty close actually. It's this close. All right. Let's rename this one. The uh, Sun Two. So Mercury orbits Sun Two. Uh, the, there is no moon. The moon. So have you ever wondered why the moon looks so bright? Oh. Yeah, Mercury's a lot hotter than people make it out to be. It's also a thousand times as big as the moon. Also known as 12.3 Earths, approximately. And, uh, it has a pretty, pretty large magnetosphere. It's mostly composed of, uh, iron with a very, very small amount of s oh, 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 oh. Yeah, you see how close this gets? It's got a very odd orbit around the stars uh this is <laughs> this is supposed to happen cuz uh it's a weird phenomenon that randomly in space it just stops moving and then it starts uh, starts going towards the other stars the strongest attractor attractor is i mean it's not the sun in real life but it is sometimes but generally, it's Sun 2, which is the strongest attractor. 
Alright, so let's continue. It is uh, that much like Earth, but it is also going to get progressively hotter. If you lived on this planet, it, everything would constantly be terraforming since it keeps getting hotter and colder. And it's mostly iron. There's a lot of uh, continental activity. Now let's uh, see what this is. Yeah, yeah, sure. I want realism. So the magnetosphere for this planet, since it's mainly iron, it's a, uh, it's like hundred. Yeah, that looks pretty good. That's the magnetosphere. It's uh, approximately. It's around ten point five Tesla. The albedo. As you can tell, it's a, uh, it's almost white. It's kind of gray, so I'd say it's uh, got a pretty high albedo. And the atmospheric mass is a, uh, it's only like one kilogram, but the surface pressure is like a. Uh, what is this, Pat Pascal's? Let's say it's a uh, one thousand atmospheric masses. And the greenhouse effect is a. Uh, it's mainly carbon dioxide, so I'd say the greenhouse effect uh, is like uh, around that. I'm just assuming right now. Alright, I'd say we got uh, this planet Mercury, quote unquote Mercury. I'd say it's, uh, I'd say it's uh, pretty accurate to what it is like in real life. It's only the closest planet to the sun to sometimes. Now the second planet is a uh, we're actually we're simply a moon of of Mercury, so-called Mercury. We we don't orbit very far away. We have a pretty strong tidal power. Tidal tidal forces acting upon us. It's uh, approximately 51 degrees outside right now, I'd say. Uh, this is what it's like in the summer months right right now, as we're getting closer to Sun 1. We're actually more close to Sun 1, generally. Oh. Yeah, we're still 88 degrees, like normal. Celsius. We see the Sun... Oh. Oh. I'm I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That wasn't supposed to happen. All right, let's just start a new simulation. I give up on that. All right. So we have a star. Uh, what's this? What's like two suns? This is like two suns. So basically, there's two suns in the middle. Sun one, and sun two. We had that one Mercury planet, and it was a pretty. It's generally pretty close to the sun. Am I right? But it's just a, got a nice view. And we, well, why is the earth so hot? Our orbital parent is Mercury. That was supposed to happen. And yeah, Mercury is ten times bigger than Earth, remember? So we're gonna have to add a couple of Earths to it. All right. It's like twelve Earths, remember? It's like a thousand moons. Twelve point nine Earths. Yeah. Way. This is a pretty eccentric orbit. And then we're we're a ways out there. We're only. We're not quite as hot. This is what it's like during the summer, especially, especially ever since uh, the Earth got uh, ten percent more Donald Trump. Everything's more orange because uh, he wanted to make a tanning booth the size of the Earth. There's a. This is actually our moon. It's actually uh, farther away than people think. And this, wait, 
I'm pretty sure this this is Mercury. How many are twelve point nine Yeah, this is Mercury. Mercury. Alright. It's pretty hot right now because uh we had to form it with multiple Earths, but that's how it happened naturally. Then we have uh, our nice uh Jupiter's the next planet. Uh people say it's a gas giant, but most people don't realize how giant it actually is. So let's just lock its mass. Its mass is three hundred and eighteen Earths always. So how do I lock it? Okay, locked. You see? But it's actually it's actually a little bigger than people think. It's just a little it's a little bigger than people think. Well, we should uh, start for measuring its radius in Earth, Earths. There's still not a lot of Earths. Light seconds. Uh, I'd say a thousand light seconds. That's uh, that's how big it really is. But uh, I guess it's too 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 big for this simulation to handle. So let's go next. Next one. Uh, Ablandia, you know, where the Smartosians live. Smartosians live in Ablandia. This is uh, this planet is exactly as is, but it's not usually this uh, hot. So let me make the albedo a little higher. Let me lower the greenhouse effect. It's usually like it's usually like 14 degrees on this planet. It's pretty watery. There's water on this planet. It's got a pretty good atmosphere. Uh, I don't have to change this because I custom made this planet for the simulation that you are uh, witnessing today. I'm only doing this because most people do not realize what the universe actually looks like. Now let's just see how things play out for a little bit. This is almost the whole solar system. As you can see, Mercury and Earth have a very eccentric orbit around uh, Sun 1 and 2, which is uh, in this simulation we're signifying that as Aldebaran. Ooh. See how close Ablandia, uh, Ablandia and Mercury get? So it's pretty darned close. Alright. Next, we have. Uh, let's just see what we get. I say that. I say that, Yeah, yeah. Everyone's favorite planet. Kun Kunian, right? Um, uh, its orbit is actually a little more eccentric than this. It's, uh, where, where, where can I change this? Eccentricity. It's uh, it's uh, it's like this. It's cold a lot. Ooh, yeah, this is pretty crazy. I'm I'm liking this. Ooh, you see, it gets kind of hot. What is this? Let's see what this does. Ooh. This is a natural phenomenon. Don't argue with me. I'm not a basic biology man. I'm a, I'm a pretty advanced biologist, so I know what's going on. All right. Yeah, that's that's pretty accurate. But why does the the simulation likes to assume orbits that are perfectly circular? In fact, this orbit isn't even perfectly circular. Actually, yeah, it is. I, w I was mistaken. Ablandia has a pretty circular orbit. And now we have the next planet. Uh, it's... Uh, I'm, I'm uh, thinking about... It. Yeah, it's a golf ball. Uh, they say the story of this planet is... Uh, some, some astronaut drops his uh, favorite golf... Some Not an astronaut, but like... Tiger... Uh, cyber Tiger, you know? Tiger, Tiger Woods or whatever his name is. He hit a golf ball into space, 
and then I got hit by like a meteor. So, uh, let's see here. It uh, got hit by a couple of meteors, so it got progressively bigger. So it's uh, I'd say it's like two point three seven Earths big. So that's the next planet. So I generally got a. It doesn't really change. It doesn't really look different when it gets hotter or colder. And it's got a couple of moons. It's got Mercury. Mercury. The Mercury that we portray as our Mercury is one of its moons. And it's being weird for some reason. Venus is another one. Then it's a, another clone. What just happened? No. And then Mars is another one. And then Jupiter. Wait, no, this is still Mars. Whatever. Let's just pretend that it's got all those. Because, uh, these, these moons didn't like, uh, didn't like, uh, the simulation clearly knows what the real, uh, solar system looks like. So it doesn't want to show us because they like it better when we are ignorant. So the next, the next thing that's orbiting, uh, the sun is, oh, oh these are moons. I'm looking for minor. Pluto. It's a decently far away. How many people say that Pluto is too small to be a planet? But, uh, I beg to differ. Pluto's actually uh, a little bigger than the sun, actually. This isn't its full size. It's this big. Whoa! Pluto's, Pluto's pretty crazy, if you ask me. You can't control Pluto. It's rotation speed. It's pretty high. It's, it's a little higher than that. Obviously. Pretty fast rotating, and uh, then we have uh, another thing orbiting. It's let's see, it's it's a black hole, and uh, it it slightly affects the orbit of all of the the other planets in the solar system. And. Uh, it's got a couple of moons as well. So it's got this moon right here that orbits it. And this moon, which is slightly farther away. And this moon. It's got a couple of moons. It's kind of like Saturn because it's got so many moons. But its rings are not made of. Its rings are not made of dust, it's made of moons. I'm liking this. Except one of one of these moons, they're all about the size of Mars. That's why I used Mars. Where is this moon? Right, one of these has got a a little more of an odd orbit. Let's see. No, not an eccentric, but like over the top. See, woo! Now this, now this is. Now this is getting realistic. You see, all the planets are all the way over there, and this is this is where everything crazy is happening. This is all the crazy junk that's going on. Well, let's just look at this in real time. All right, this is close enough. 
isn't it beautiful? These moons move pretty, pretty darn fast. It's moving at 64,997 kilometers a second. Now, this moon right here, personally, I'd say its rotational period is, uh, well, it's going 90 times light speed. Gosh, in a second. Where does it think it's going? Where does it think it's going? Where's this one lock? Alright. Totally lock. It doesn't have a rotation speed because it's tidally locked. It's the it's same side, it's constantly facing. Alright. Eccentricity. I don't think. Why? Does it not have an orbital parent anymore? Where does it think it's... This is not a realistic simulation. Alright, this is what they think is going to happen in the future. So they think that... This black hole is going to explode. Well, we'll look at that in not real time, because this might take a while. Black hole destruction is a pretty serious thing. That's 10 million masses of the sun that it's releasing. All the all the moons just disintegrated, and where where is the star? Aldebar. Oh, there it is. It's not even very far away. They expect that that's gonna happen once sometime. It should go supernova. I believe. I I I just believe. I I don't have any evidence, and then they think that. This is gonna happen for some reason. And then, uh. Mm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Let's see here. Alright. Let's lock that. Now let's just make its mass like a. Like a 100 Milky Ways. Nah, that's not enough. Yeah, I think this is gonna happen one day. I think the thing this is gonna happen. A pretty pretty decent sized black hole. It's not very big necessarily, it's just kinda kinda dense ish. That's gonna happen when the uh, earth finishes burning up all of its uh helium and iron and stuff like that. And then it's just gonna collapse into a black hole because the earth is so big. See this is happening in milliseconds. It's only been so many milliseconds. That's a thousand of these are in a second. <sighs> Isn't it just so beautiful? Oh, oh. Oh, oh. 